belt. First off, you're always grinding when I see you, man. You're always working at it. Uh, you're actually trying to start a new program. Absolutely. Literally, not like a, you're trying to get a varsity program put into what high school? West Union High School in Adams County. Okay, and you're actually from down on the river by there, aren't you? Yes. Well, I'm Claremont County, so I'm two counties away right So now. two counties away, but on the Ohio River nonetheless. Correct. So when you look at it, um, wrestling in central Ohio, northeast Ohio is huge. Southern Ohio down on the river, not as, not quite as big. Would you correct. agree with that? Correct, correct. So building, what's it like building from from zero or from scratch? It's been challenging, but you know what? Rewarding, man. I love it um, because you're getting to see these kids from ground zero um, just grow into better people and then better wrestlers. Like today, I have a girl at the junior high Ohio girls state tournament. She's been with me three years. First year, zero matches won. Second year, zero matches won. And she comes out here and she's a runner up. She's got over 15 matches that she's won this year, so that's rewarding in itself. Is that Nickel? Yes, that's Nickel. I had a couple of her matches. Yes. She wrestled tough. I know. So, you know, you can tell that she's just getting into it, but talk about, you know, OAC Girls State Championship. How right. huge is that? They're having it for grade school. You got junior high already, now it's grade school coming up, right. but how huge is that for, for girls wrestling? I absolutely love it because it's taken a twist to our sport to just to grow the sport. And that's what I'm trying to do also is grow the sport, you know, in a part of the state that we don't have it. And for the OAC to step up and do a girls state, helping that sport grow as well, it's phenomenal. I can't wait until Ohio has just girls in general, the state tournament for those guys or girls. So, you know, you look at it, OHSAA, you know, we're, we're a couple years off of that, right? But yeah. I look at the women's nationals yesterday, college, yep. 10 teams. I'm seeing two, three years, this is my statement I've been making. You're going to have 20 teams. Oh, yeah. Then 30, then yep. 40. And it's, and it's going to be like exponential boom, right? Right. What do you think it's going to take in Ohio for it to catch up? I'm thinking five. What do you think? Five? I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the three to five year. Uh, That's where I'm at. Yeah. We're, we're over, this is over 130 kids that girls, correct? correct? Yes. And then they got Athena Nationals here. Yep. They go all out. Harrison's all into it. Oh, yeah. They Harrison. have a huge program in Athena. Yeah. They've done a great job with that. We started out with 55 girls. This yes. Year. That's incredible. Um, you know, as you look at the growth of, of, of girls wrestling, what's the thing you want to see most? What do you want the girls to get out of it the most? I think they need to just understand the independence of their self. Because girls right now, they, they're always told they can't do something. And this is an individual sport where they can grow within the sport yourself, and then they can actually do it. You know, like the little shore girl on Miami East right now is competing at a varsity level with boys. She's a legit, she's tough. I feel like she's gonna be a state placer. And our girls need to look up to other girls like that because they can do it. They can get the self-confidence that our boys get from it also. Empowerment. Oh yes, absolutely, empowerment. Uh, looking at it, what do you guys got to do? You know, you got a, a crucial vote coming up, you told me. Absolutely. February 20th, my school board votes um, if we have a high school program or not. So I built this program um, in Ohio Valley School District. That's why we're Ohio Valley Wrestling Club. So we built this program in Ohio Valley School District for the last four years. I have five eighth graders ready to walk into the doors as freshmen without knowing they're, they have a high school team or not. So they've been grinding for the past four years with the expectations of not knowing if they have a high school sport or not. So February 20th is a huge vote for us. Is there a contingency plan if it doesn't happen? Oh yeah, we always got backup plans, you know? Um, so my backup plan is to still teach there because I love the school district. Uh, administration's great, kids are wonderful. Um, but you know that Western Brown's not too far down the road from us. So I may just open and roll my son to Mount Orb and hang out with Wendell um, and the crew there at Western Brown. I'm looking forward to you guys getting the opportunity. You got anything else for me? No, never, man. You do a great job, and I love it. Continue working hard. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys today. Thanks, man.